Hi Ben, how's it going? Badly, very badly. Why, what's up? It's this report uh, Julie submitted about Mr Jones down on River Road. Honestly, Egyptian hieroglyphics would make more sense. All the information's here, but it's just all over the place. Yeah, well, she's got form for this, hasn't she? Yeah, she's a brilliant worker, but she struggles writing concise reports. Mm -hmm. As I say, all the information's here, but it's just jumbled up. Yeah, but she's not alone. I mean, John, Catherine, Chris and Angela, they all struggle. Mind you, so do I, as you know. Yeah, I know. I've had to rewrite some of them. Yes, I know. And that's why I've got this, which I think will help. What's that? It's the Learning Through Work Guide that's been produced by Skills for Care. Look, it's made up of seven easy-to-use booklets. You've got physical health, English, maths, bodily functions. Ah, best one, reporting. Perfect. Look, we can use these informally with the team and focus on what areas need to be improved. So this is the answer to all of our prayers. Mm. I won't have to get rewrite Julie's reports. It's not a miracle cure, but it is something that our team can carry around with them in their handbag or in the car, and they can refer to it when they can't remember something. Look, the last time most of us did English and maths like this was when we were at school. So this can only help, and it's been created mm. by talking to employers like us. I like that the information's in bite-sized chunks. That makes it a lot less intimidating. And yeah, I can really see us using this in supervision and team meetings to make sure we all work together to improve our skills. But obviously in a really informal way. Great, there's a poster too, so it tells us everything that's in there. It's fantastic. Brilliant. Right, why don't we schedule some group sessions? Because I took the liberty of ordering a few more because I knew you'd love it. <laughs>